I'm a big, I would say, uh, advocate of the healthcare sector. Um, I love healthcare. I specifically love healthcare when there's an integration of technology in that particular sector. Um, when I look at, I would say the integration, four sectors that I'm big on, particularly to healthcare is nanotechnology, biotech, robotics, as well as information technology. Uh, I think it's a great sector. Uh, certainly the future is bright. When we look at, I would say, global population, the demand for healthcare continues to, I would say, just act actually expand uh, beyond, I would say, what we can imagine at this particular time. Yeah, and maybe the biggest and, and certainly one of the most uh, globally expansive problems that we had with personal health care pre-COVID, and one that also, unfortunately, is in some ways related to COVID, of course, is the global fight and really the U.S. fight against obesity, diabetes is a terrible crisis. You've got millions of Americans who suffer as well through obesity, diabetes, and the related disorders. I think you note the average health care spending per capita is $316,000 now per American. It's a tough battle. How do we sort of uh, invest around making sure we can, we can get a handle on and treat this diabetes and obesity epidemic? Well, it's, uh, we, we open, I would say, Pandora's box when we talk about it. I would say how we can go about, I would say, treating it. Um, I truly feel that uh, there needs to be some, some legislation. Uh, again, uh, we live in America, and it's likely that legislation probably will not come, at least in my generation, whereby we're able to curb, I would say, these lifestyle-related, uh, I would say, illnesses. Now, that being said, we understand that some of these illnesses are hereditary, uh, yet uh, a vast portion of it tends to actually, I would say, trigger because of uh, lifestyle uh, choices that individuals tend to make. Yeah, it is a tough conversation to have, Gerald. But when we look to invest around it, the companies that maybe are helping treat it, you look to names like a Thermo Fisher Scientific or an Intuitive Surgical. Why? Absolutely. Well, I, but I like, I would say, Thermo uh, Fisher Scientific uh, because they are in the nanotechnology space. Again, we're talking about, I would say, the use of matter um, for, I would say, healthcare related, I would say, our purposes in solving, I would say, major healthcare problems. Um, I also like Intuitive Surgical because they are in that robotic space. Again, integration of technology and healthcare, whereby they are actually, I would say, uh, moving forward, I would say, uh, with trying to, I would say, treat these uh, various illnesses that we, we speak of today. Yeah, other names you like include the uh, uh, NVIDIA, which I would not think of NVIDIA necessarily, Gerald, as a healthcare play, but I imagine all this technology you speak of will need certain semiconductors that will power that. How is NVIDIA kind of a sideways healthcare play? Well, you know, as, as you know, NVIDIA has done extremely well this year um, based on, I would say, their, their actual, I would say, uh, stock movement. Uh, I think year to date, we're talking about 120% up on the year, not necessarily, I would say, uh, something that I would anticipate, I would say, year after year, but it's definitely, I would say, one of those stocks that fall within, I would say, the robotic st uh, space. So when we think about, I would say, semiconductor and its integration in the healthcare, I would say, community, uh, NVIDIA is certainly one of those plays that I, that I like uh, to hold within client portfolios. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.